Here's my motorized yo-yo in action. It's not perfectly balanced, so sometimes I use this card to help keep it balanced. Uh, you can see now it's about 250. We'll let this run and see how long it goes for. I'll show you how it works over there. Here's my motorized yo yo. This side is just a solid chunk, and this side has all the all the parts in it. Motors up here. This is a centrifugal switch which is just a spring that deflects into this metal and closes the circuit and starts the motor. Um, under this tape is a lithium polymer battery which that and the motor were both taken from an RC helicopter like this. Um, as you can see, this side just unscrews. Like I said, a solid, solid piece of PVC, pretty much. Uh, the string is wrapped around this bearing here in the center. this side there is an outer shell which covers up the belt that drives the motor um, which drives the center bearing from the motor um, I'll show you this working real quick. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, that This bearing came from a the read-write arm of a hard drive like this. There were just two he holes drilled through this piece of uh, PVC to accommodate the motor and the centrifugal switch. And the battery was taped on the back. Okay, it looks like it's uh, finally dying. You can see that went on for about eight minutes. Uh, it could probably go quite a bit longer if the battery was in better condition probably easily over 10 minutes um, and that's my motorized yo-yo